Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. I'm Chris, this is Johnny. Today, we're doing the pastrami, Rachel. Chris, what is a Rachel? Well, the pastrami Rachel is kind of a take on the pastrami Reuben, where everybody's had a Reuben, John, right? I oh, love them. Pastrami on rye with Swiss, sauerkraut, and a Thousand Island dressing. But instead of the sauerkraut, you replace it with coleslaw. Now, Johnny's wife makes an amazing coleslaw. Banging coleslaw. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be a great substitution. And if you've seen our smoked pastrami visit video, the hot and fast, uh, we just did that a little while ago, and I just ate about a pound of pastrami. But well, we still got a little hanging around. Yeah, we got quite a bit hanging around, and frankly, I'm hungry. Yeah. So, so truth be told, what we did is we kept the flap, the leanest part, mm -hmm. more or less intact, because we wanted to run it through the old slicer. I know a lot of you guys don't have a slicer at home. I like to do my own bacon. I like to do my jerky. I like nice uniform slices. I invested. Get a sharp knife. You're good to go. Yeah. Um, but eh, we're going to show off a little bit. So. Let me slice some stuff up. Let's slice it up, John. All right. Let's make a sandwich here. And you want to slice against the grain. So you want to make sure that you're going against the grain. And, um, oh, I love the slicer. <laughs> Quite the investment. And this is why I like the slicer. Look at that. Right? Paper thin. Oh, should I say wafer thin? <laughs> nice. I guess you're allowed. Oh my god. It just makes really quick work of this. Textbook. That was defective with broken. I think we so, got enough to make a sandwich. Oh, uh, we got enough to make a few sandwiches here. All right. All right. So, we've got our meat. So, you're going to take some rye bread. Some people like seeded rye, non seeded rye, marble rye. Today we're using marble rye. I like the marble rye. I can't decide whether I like better pumpernickel or rye. So, uh, I feel like this is a great compromise. You're going to butter up one side of it. Add just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you can go crazy. Good Thousand Island. Good Thousand Island. You know, it's, some people like it messy. Some people like to uh, keep it a little neat. It's up to your preference on how much Thousand Island you want to put on there. I think a nice kind of medium thin layer will do well. Got to have some good Swiss. I could drop a slice of Swiss right there. A lot of pine lace. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And now, don't lay the pastrami flat, you know? You got to give it a little bit of height there. We're building a sandwich here. Yeah, exactly. Don't phone it in. No. Nah. Boom, boom, boom. Bada, bada, bada. And one more for good luck. Yeah. Looking pretty good, John. Oh. Maybe just one more piece, you know. For just, extra good luck. <laughs> Doctor, he told me one extra piece. All right. Nice. All right. I got the, the bread that's buttered, Thousand Island, cheese, pastrami, Good coleslaw, dollop, right? I like to put enough on here to kind of cover the layer nice and evenly. Slap on another piece of cheese. Let me fire up the black lock. Using nice our one. black lock is our uh, new favorite cast iron pan because it's so light, heats up so quick. There we go. Some more Thousand Island. Slap that on top. And Chris, I know she got like the flat part on the flat part and the round part and the round part. 
I hate when people like reverse the sandwich and try to pass it off as something. New. No, 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 no. I no. mean, it tastes great, but it just feels like you could do better. Take a second, line it up. It's got to be aligned. It's got to be aligned. Right. And you know, get, get a decent amount of butter on. Don't go too crazy. And that black lock. That is a slather, slather of butter. A little slather, You might have gone a little crazy there. Might have. Black lock. Uh, nice all right, let's see. It does heat up nice and quick. Let's see where we're at. Let's give it a second or two. All right. We're going to transfer our sandwich over there. And then, you know, a lot of people have those bacon presses. I don't have a bacon press. So I have an enamel cast iron pot. It's going to act just like a bacon press. Yeah. Wash the bottom or cover it in tin foil. Yep. So just wash that up. We're going to use that. And uh, that's probably ready to go. Let's fire that in there. Uh, yeah, it's sizzling. You let that go for a little while so you smell it and you know that it's toasting well. Get that nice brown, give it a flip, a little press, press it. Oh man, this is good stuff. What do you think of this pastrami, John? I was just uh, nibbling on a piece while you Thought were uh, I saw you cooking. Chewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't hide it very well. Not too bad. Nor, nor did I try to hide it. <laughs> but, nor uh, should you. And we're really just trying to toast the bread and melt the cheese. That's it. Heat up the pastrami a little bit. You don't want your coleslaw like rocket hot. No, no, no. I'll get you guys a nice close up so you can see the sandwich cooking. It's uh, it's a mighty nice thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, let me give it a flip here, Johnny. Alrighty. All right. Oh yeah. Go back on with this. Got a nice little toast on there. And you know, you're gonna wanna check your bread. You know, we're doing this on camera, it's always a little nerve wracking, but you're gonna wanna give it a little peek. See if it's brown. You want it to be nice and golden brown, but you don't wanna burn it. So give, no, it, a, give no, it a peek. Yep. You could always clip an extra time if yeah. you need to. Nobody's nobody's Hate burning a grilled cheese. Nobody's or... judging. No. Yeah. I think this bad boy is almost ready to come off here, John. Oh, let's rock it. Yeah. Oh my, let's just give this a moment of silence. <laughs> All right. Mm. On the diagonal, John. On the diagonal? Yeah, yeah. Even for oval bread? I, just a little bit, just a oh, little just bit. Just a little bit for, for presentation, okay. For me. All right, you know what to say. He who cuts doesn't get to pick. Oh, That's right. how you make sure that somebody cuts it in half. Yeah, but he who picks may burn his fingers. And I manhandled that side. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to get a bite. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm here to tell you. This is the kind of sandwich that if you put it down like he did, it's going to be a mess. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting this go. Oh, my God. Shall we build another? And yeah. another? And another. This is so good. Thousand Island dressing, the Swiss cheese, it just all works together. And that's thin slice pastrami. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, having one of these uh, slicers here is... Uh, all right, Chris, take us out. It's kind of I'm nice. going to eat. All right. If you like what you saw, build yourself a pastrami, Rachel. Give us a thumbs up, a like, share, tell people about us, and get out there and cook.